this works. All right. Hello, everybody. This is Katie here for with the Rexpert Meet the Rexperts. And today we have a special guest, Diana Carr with Be Well Health Coaching. So we have some questions here today to get to know uh, Diana and her business. So welcome, Diana. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, of course. So tell us about yourself and a little bit about your business. Sure. Um, so as Katie mentioned, my name is Diana Carr. So I'm the founder of Be Well Health Coaching. Uh, I'm located in Springfield, Virginia. I live here with my husband of 13 years, our almost eight-year-old son, our five-year-old daughter, and our new puppy. Um, and I'm actually a career changer. So I was a data privacy professional for about 12 or 13 years. And then after going through some health issues, I decided I wanted to change career tra trajectories and get into nutrition. And so I enrolled in a master's program um, at American University and studied nutrition education. Um, I decided I wanted to get into health coaching. So I enrolled in a health coaching program through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. Um, and then I also picked up a personal training certification along the way. Um, and through all of that, Be Well was born. Um, and my, uh, my focus at Be Well is to really um, work with clients and take a holistic approach, um, focusing on diet and lifestyle changes to just improve their overall health and well-being. Wow, that sounds awesome. It sounds like you're hitting the client from all different angles and truly that holistic approach, like you said. Yes. Um, so where, Diana, where are you located? For yeah, so I'm, in, um, so I'm in Springfield, Virginia, which um, for those who aren't familiar, like Northern Virginia near Alexandria, about a half hour outside of Washington, DC. Um, but I do all my coaching virtually. Um, mm -hmm. And so that gives me the ability to see clients all over. So Although most of my clients are in this Northern Virginia area, I have had clients in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, North Carolina. Um, so I can really see clients anywhere, which makes it really nice. Well, that's good to know. So if we've got folks tuning into Rexpert from all across the United States and they're looking to make a lifestyle change, then they can definitely, um, you're not bound by your state, the, your exactly. virtual. Awesome. So when you're, um, what's your mission statement? So we talked about your journey and, and how you made a career pivot. Um, so do you have a mission or certain values that you stand for too? Yeah. So, you know, my mission is really to empower my clients to invest in their health and well-being, no matter what. I feel like everyone has the opportunity to make positive changes to their diet and lifestyle, regardless of how small, but just to work them towards you know, a better, healthier, happier version of themselves. And so I really, um, I'm really focused on that, like supporting my clients. I view it as a, a partnership, kind of as a coach, I serve to guide and mentor, but it really is a partnership, working with them side by side, um, just really helping folks realize that, you know, investing in your health is one of the most important things you can do. I love that. Investing in your health. Yes. And a partnership. Um, so is it just you or like how how does your business work as far as like when you are working virtually or at home or? Yes. Yeah. So it is just me, uh, at least for right now. Um, and, you know, my focus is to really, you know, invest in my clients one on one. That's my priority. And so, you know, maybe be well may expand or grow in the future. Um, but for right now, I'm, I'm just very much invested in working and developing those relationships kind of one on one. And so, yeah, it's just me. So if you reach out um, to, to me, that I'm the person that you're going to talk to. So Awesome. And I know you've got your own health journey too, as far as like we had talked about your training for your half marathon last year and going, we were just talking about running in the cold and I'm here in Scottsdale, Arizona. So I was doing a little run outside. So um, you're on your own health journey. So that's awesome that you can kind of like when you have a coach who's, you know, has health and fitness values as well, you can kind of work off of each other. That's great. Um, so let's learn about your services. So you're listed on Rexpert and you've got some services up there. What do folks, um, what, are there some particular services that you'd like to highlight sure. about your, what you do? Yeah. So my primary service is a one-on-one -on -one health coaching program. And, um, I, I typically offer a six month program, kind of what I've coined, like a total transformation program, because I believe that six months is the time that's needed to really develop those long-term health 
healthy habits. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, I take this very holistic approach, like we talked about. So it's focusing on nutrition, exercise, managing stress, Mm -hmm. um, getting proper sleep, um, you know, having a a positive mindset to kind of stay with these changes for the long term, focusing on self care. So kind of, you know, six months gives me time to really work through all of that with someone. And so at the end of the day, they have all the strategies, the tools that they need to kind of carry those healthy habits forward for the rest of their lives. And so that's like my primary service is, you know, really working one on one with with an individual. Um, I also offer a kind of shorter term nutrition assessment. So if someone's kind of looking for just like a, a kickstart or a tune up of their diet and their eating habits, um, I, t- I do that over the course of about a month. Um, it requires some food logging and then some analysis on my part. We kind of come up with a plan for them. Um, so again, for someone who's maybe just looking for like that um, shorter term, just kind of tell me what to do and I can kind of go do it on my own, um, mm-hmm. that the nutrition assessment's a good, a good service there. Um, I also do some group coaching. So um, right now I'm wrapping up a group program that I launched right before the holidays called Healthy Holidays. Mm-hmm. And it was really focused on stress management around the holidays that they can be uh, holidays can be really stressful um, yes. and you know, keeping up with healthy habits so that, you know, instead of crashing into the new year and then having to come up with all these, uh, you know, resolutions to kind of dig yourself out of the hole you got into more kind of keeping your healthy habits through the holidays and then launching yourself with positive intentions for the new year. So that's been going really great. We're wrapping that up in a couple of weeks. Um, and then I'm going to be looking to launch another group program sometime in the spring. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. But so group coaching is a, kind of another service that I offer. Um, and then finally, I'm also available for, you know, webinars or, you know, presentations in, in the corporate setting or with different organizations. So, um, you know, I think one thing that's unique about me is I come from the corporate world. So I had a corporate career. I worked for federal government. I worked for a large consultancy And so I have that experience. And so coming in and speaking to, you know, offices or organizations um, comes, you know, pretty natural to me. And I think, you know, I can bring now in my new health and nutrition education and kind of bring that and share it with your company or organization. So that's also something that um, I offer. I love that. And I love how you're talking about consistency versus high highs and low lows through the holidays and positive intentions for those new year's resolutions. And exactly. I think that's, that's the challenge, right? Like everyone's got starts the new year with positive intentions, but you know, what happens in February and March and April, right. the rest of the year. So that's where you come in as their number one supporter and their coach and the holistic with the sleep and the stress management, exactly. right? Like, Someone once told me you can't outrun a bad diet, right? Exactly. Like, yep. um, I did my 10 miles this morning, like, and it's important to foods I'm going to eat afterwards. I can't just, you know, go eat McDonald's and then continue on, right? So Exactly. That's why I think the holistic approach really makes sense is because you can't just even go all in on one thing and expect everything to change. You really have to, you know, make the dietary changes. You need to do that, you know, move your body more. You need to really stress less. Like you need to kind of try to work on all of these things. And it doesn't mean you have to change it all at once. And it doesn't even mean you have to make drastic changes. I really think it's those small changes over time, snowball into bigger changes and then put you on a new path. And that's really my goal with working with individuals it's not the like quick fixes or the, the, the drastic changes, even it's the mm-hmm. creating the, the small habits that will one day kind of put us on that path to a total healthier lifestyle. I love that. And that's a great segue to our next question, which is how do you define your fitness, exercise, nutrition, wellness philosophy, which kind of already answered that with your small changes and the snowball exactly. effect. And is there anything exactly. else you can add to that? Yeah. I mean, I just think, you know, I take a very, um, personalized, holistic approach, I would say. Mm -hmm. And so I don't think there's this one size fits all for everyone. Um, Everybody is different. And so you need to find what works for you. And certainly there's some basics that everyone should follow, but um, it really is, you know, finding what works for you, looking at it holistically, looking at your diet, your exercise, all your other lifestyle habits, and then, you know, making those small changes that really will add into big changes over time. And what is your favorite part about working as a health coach and seeing all those small changes? Yeah. So it's definitely the transformation 
Um, and I love witnessing those like aha moments or the breakthroughs, you know, when, when it finally clicks or when, you know, my clients, you know, finally, you know, have that breakthrough where it's like, you know, I'm tired of doing, you know, the same thing and I'm ready to prioritize my health and wellness. And I, I had one last week with my client. It was so awesome. You know, she was like, I, she was like, I finally decided like, I need to exercise more. And I told my husband and I told my boss and I, um, you know, I'm, I'm done with this. Like I'm ready to prioritize. And I was just like, yeah, I was like so excited for her. And I was like, yes, this is exactly like why I'm doing this is like to mm -hmm. see that transformation, to see those breakthroughs and to really help people realize that they can do this. Cause I think that's a lot of times everyone's hardest hurdle to get over is those like, um, the negative things we tell ourselves that we can't do it or we're not worth it and helping people realize like you can do it and you are worth it. And investing in, again, investing in your health is one of the best things you can do. And so seeing people realize that is just so rewarding. Um, and that's, I think, definitely the best part about, about doing this. Right. Cause you only get one body, right? Like right. you can't go to the body store and just grab another body <laughs> and it's all self care. And when you love yourself and treat yourself right, the right way and you feel good, then you can be the best version of yourself, right. For everybody exactly. else. Exactly. And you know, there's certain things that might not be in your control, but there is definitely a lot of things that are. And I think that's too, what helping people realize is, you know, going after the things you can control. So, you know, largely we can control what we're putting into our body. Largely we can control like how much we're moving throughout the day. Um, you know, stress is obviously something that everyone deals with. And sometimes that's out of our control, but we can control how we handle it and how we manage it. So, you know, I think it's realizing like what you can control and then making the most of that. Sure. And maybe it's like you said, those little small changes, like instead of grabbing a soda in the afternoon, you grab um, a tea or a water or something. Um, exactly. Exactly. So um, speaking of things you can control, what are your goals for this year and for next year? And uh, second part of the question, what drives your motivation for these goals? Yeah. So, you know, my goal is definitely to continue to connect with people one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know, to work with people on prioritizing their health and their well-being. Um, mm -hmm. And then I think, you know, figuring out different ways to do that. So right now I work, you know, directly with individuals one-on-one, -on -one, looking to expand into more like group coaching, um, also just exploring different platforms. So one of the things on my kind of goal list is to maybe develop an online course um, again, looking through like different modalities of how I can kind of still reach people um, in ways that work for them. You know, maybe if someone can't commit to, to working with me over a six month time frame, but they want the same, you know, information that they could, you know, use on the, do on their own time. Maybe a course is something that would be helpful for them. And so, you know, just looking for ways to continue to connect with people, um, you know, throughout the community and, um, you know, really motivates me again is just you know, I've seen firsthand what making positive diet and lifestyle changes can do and even what big impacts, even small changes can have. And so that's what really motivates me is just hoping that I can, um, you know, help people realize that making these changes now before it's too late, before they run into a health issue or before they burn themselves out um, is really the, the best that they can do. And so that's, I think, what continues to drive me is just hoping to, to motivate people to prioritize their, their health and well-being. Awesome. Um, and so when you talk about um, motivating people and so in your customers, who is your ideal customer? Yeah. Um, who you yeah. Like? So, you know, I am open to working with, you know, anyone who's looking to, you know, change, make diet and lifestyle changes to help themselves mm -hmm. feel better. But where my passion really, really lies is with the busy mom, you know, the woman who is trying to manage her career and her family and her social obligations and is getting pulled in a million directions and trying to be successful in all those areas. And then as a result, isn't prioritizing her own self-care and her own health and wellness. And, you know, I, I see her. I was her. And I that's who I feel passionate for. Um, and so, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm happy to work with anyone who wants to make those changes, but the busy woman, the busy mom is like where my passion really lies. Awesome. So busy moms, if that's you, if you feel like you need 
um, a buddy, a coach, a supporter. You've got to get on it. You know, Diana is your girl. Um, so Diana, tell us, how did you find Rexpert and, um, you know, what's going to set you apart when we go to Rexpert and you find all your stuff on there? Like, yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, Katie and I actually connected at a women's networking event back in, I think it was October, um, mm -hmm. called the high heeled happy hour out in Loudoun County. Um, and we met and I feel like we like instantly connected because we were just chatting for a few minutes and we had a follow on call. Um, and I was very drawn to Katie because of her, you know, passion for, for health and wellness too. And so we had that in common. Um, and I think, you know, the organization she's starting up Rexpert, such a great idea. And so, you know, I wanted to be one of the first people to kind of jump in as they were launching. Um, and I think, you know, what sets me apart is really that personalized, holistic approach that I mm -hmm. take. And because, you know, the diet and fitness industry is so big and so profitable because everyone is just trying to sell that like one size fits all quick fix, you know, magic bullet to health and wellness. And that that doesn't exist. Right. You know, we're yeah. we're all very different. What works for me is not going to work for you, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to nutrition. You know, one person's food is another person's poison. There is no one size fits all for everyone. And mm -hmm. so I really embrace that. And I try to meet my clients where they are. And I try to come up with, you know, working with them to come up with an approach that will work for them. And so it's not cookie cutter. It's not this like one size fits all routine. It's a very personalized approach. And that's where I think I am kind of set apart from maybe um, some others out there, some different approaches, because I really work with like trying to connect with my clients and understand where they are, what they've gone through, what motivates them and what can help them be successful. I think that's so valuable. I've been through many different coaches and nutritionists and trainers and definitely that will set that sets you apart when some every sometimes folks have like a like you said one size fits all and they'll tell you this is what works and this is what you're like well i've had cancer I, da, 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 i'm a triathlete like so it's important for you to unpack all those things for a person right and um i think that's wonderful that you take the time to really understand um and and make a, a plan that will allow them to be successful um, so awesome. And just last bit before we go, how do you personally stay fit? Uh, what is your weekly routine and what are some of your favorite foods? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, I'm actually coming to you today from my little in-home gym. Um, this was a project of ours right before the holidays. Um, something we've been wanting to do for a while. Um, you know, definitely prioritizing, you know, healthy eating, fitness, it's not always easy. Um, but having a dedicated space at home, I have found is really helpful, especially during the pandemic. And with having small children, like getting out to the gym isn't always realistic. So having like a space, even if it's, you know, it's pretty small, but it, it, it's perfect for what we what we need. Um, I like to have variety in my, in my exercise routine. So right now, my husband and I are training for a half marathon. And so my routine kind of is split between like three days a week running, three days a week doing like strength and other cross training. So that's kind of what's working right now. That might change in a couple of months. But um, I like to have variety. Uh, it kind of keeps things interesting. Um, and then roll with the elements. So I was telling Katie this morning that the, the 19 degree weather was a little cold for me. So I hit the treadmill today, but um, yeah. And then, you know, some healthy snacks. So one of the things I've been really into recently is overnight oats. Um, it's been my kind of go-to for breakfast. I like to make the oatmeal the night before in the fridge, experiment with different toppings. Uh, but it's, I think, a really good um protein and fiber packed way to start my day. So that's been one of my go-to healthy breakfasts to kind of fuel my morning workouts and something I've been kind of really into recently. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Diana. And if you are a busy mom or, you know, an athlete or anybody who's looking for your holistic approach for, like you said, sleep, stress management, nutrition, health, wellness, all of it, Diana is your girl and um, she's awesome. Uh, so you can find Diana on Rexpert, uh, rexpert.com, and she's got her services on there. Um, and if you are a health professional, wellness, industry, fitness, 
um, nutrition, sports coach of any kind, especially at the Olympics. I'm like, all these amazing sports. We need to get all these folks on here. Yeah. Um, you can uh, create a profile on Rexpert. We've got a free code right now. to, And then you just get a little, quick little background check. That's simply there because we're working with, uh, you know, obviously kids, sports um, lessons and 16 and over. So if you're a lifeguard and you want to kind of start your own entrepreneur business, you can be on there as well. So um, you can find everybody at Rexpert.com or you can um, reach out to Diana as well. So thank you so much, Diana, for being a part yeah. of Rexpert today. Absolutely. Anything else before we go? No, I don't think so. Thank you so much. It's been such a great opportunity to chat more with you and, you know, continue to learn about Rexpert. Like I said, I think it's awesome what you guys are doing. So uh, I'm excited to see the site grow and I hope people really come to it and find what they need. Awesome. Thank you, Diana. Have a good day, everybody. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.